Hey, good morning, or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Mm. So, I have a confession. I realized when I was uploading my weekly video for this week that I forgot to do the three tips. Uh, and so I plan to uh, do a little video like this on Sunday, and now it's fucking Wednesday, so time flies by, right? Uh, so I did want to share with you the three tips that that I came up with for this week. I realize it's halfway through the week, but you know, better late than never. So, uh, so just to recap the astrology of this week, so you kind of have like a general tone. Um, this week we have Mercury square Saturn, which I've posted a bit about on my Instagram. Um, Stash Saturn is also stationing direct. So this is a lot around uh, communication, getting serious with your communication, um, drawing boundaries with communication where needed. Uh, we also have Jupiter square Neptune, which has more of a dreamy, inspirational kind of feel. And uh, we also have the last quarter moon in the sign of Gemini this week, uh, which is definitely around... Um, communication, around getting closure on things, and I see the last quarter moon also is kind of a time of buttoning things up and getting closure on things. Uh, so uh, all of this being considered, tip number one is to have a plan this week. So have a plan for what it is that you're doing with your day. Have a plan for where activities are bringing you. So whenever you're doing something, this week, uh, especially if it's, if it's like a stepping stone kind of thing, what is the greater plan? Where is this thing bringing you? So I think that tip to have a plan this week is, uh, is an embodiment of the Mercury Saturn energy. And it also helps us to ground with, uh, the Jupiter Neptune that's happening. Hi guys for joining live. Uh, let's see. Tip number two, is to remember that even the most challenging situations, um, even the most challenging rea realities are simply a story. And so uh, I say this kind of like with a bit of a tongue in cheek because of course there are some things that are um, reality that we can't change or that we can't do anything with, but a lot of our reality is just a structure that we have set in place ourselves. So what I mean by that is the job that you have. The reality is that yes, like you have to go to work and um, you have to pay your rent and you have to do your laundry, but it, at the same time, you have also created this reality for yourself. You have created this job that you have. You have created um, the home that you have and you can modify that if you want. Granted, uh, most of us need to uh, do something to make a living. We need to do our laundry, blah, blah, blah. So uh, so yes, there are things that are non-negotiables. Those are Saturn symbols. But at the same time, uh, the reality around you is uh, sometimes to your own construction. Again, this is not always the case. Uh, certainly not. Um, but this is an idea that... Uh, that an astrologer, Rob Hand, talks about in one of his essays. And I was just really struck by how, yeah, like sometimes we have more um, say in our environment than we think. So that's tip number two is to remember that even the most challenging situations that you do have a say and that um, that the situations that you're in now, especially the, the highly emotionally charged ones, um, sometimes there are things that you can do in order to modify that. Again, it's not always the case, but a lot of times we have more power than we think. Um, okay, tip number three is to release, rest, and get closure. Uh, <laughs> confession, I've been really bad about that uh, this first part of the week. Uh, so I say release, rest, and get closure. This is tapping into the energy of the last quarter moon this Saturday. Uh, so last quarter moon, it is this time of kind of, I see it as like gathering yourself and being like, all right, kind of, uh, doing a little midweek 
mental and emotional spring cleaning and saying, okay, like this is what's on my plate. This is what's not on my plate. What do I want to do with things going forward? So, um, that in addition to the Jupiter Neptune energy, it can be really nice this week just to kind of like get a little chill time. Uh, so those are your three tips. And then I also wanted to share with you, uh, just a little visual, little preview of the moon journal, uh, Mediko. Yeah, let's do this. Um, So I'm super excited to share with you that I'm doing the 2019 Moon Journal in a quarterly version. So it will still be a beautiful spiral bound version, um, but it's going to be quarterly. So it's um, October through December is available now on Etsy. This is a little what it looks like. And um, it's cool because you um, you have a little description about the lunar cycles like normal. I've gotten a little more geeky with, um, the rulerships and things, um, and giving you a little bit more information as far as how I'm coming to the, the analysis. Uh, and then it has a little picture of the chart. I don't think I did that last year. I think that's a new thing, having the picture of the chart and, um, the little key, the little symbol. I love the little Lotus charts. Um, And also that's new is you get a little planner in here, like a weekly planner. So there's a monthly calendar, but then uh, I got this idea to do the weekly because so many of you enjoy doing the moon cycles or following the moon signs. So there's like a little little planner section um, for you to write notes and... That can be like to do's or it can be, you know, inspirations, intuitions, all that good stuff. So I'm very excited about it. Uh, You can find out more. You can see more pictures and images and more details about it on Etsy.com slash shop slash neofeminine astrology. And also have a link to that um, on my Instagram or below this video. Uh, So that's all. I gotta go, but I'm wishing you a really wonderful day and a wonderful rest of the week and sending you lots of love. Bye.